Hey everybody, welcome back. Review time. Okay, not a review. It's us geeking out of seeing a movie right after we saw it. And we just saw Magnificent Seven. <laughs> Cannot get it out of my head, and I've really put it into hers. Yes. Uh, but just before we get into this, I would want to let you know this is our all spoiler video. So we're going to talk spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. So if you want to see this without uh, spoilers, we have a no spoiler uh, review. You can see the link in the description below. Or something's popping up right about now. Check that out. Come on back. Watch the spoiler when, when you're ready. So here's your warning. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Cool? Okay, you gone? All right, we're good. So, <clears throat> it's a good movie. It's, yes. It's, it's, it's not great. It's not bad. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we love the actors. Chris Pratt's fantastic. Denzel Washington's fantastic. Ethan mm -hmm. Hawke's fantastic. I blew her mind that Vincent D'Onofrio uh, is also Kingpin. She didn't recognize, yeah, the character didn't recognize him, but he's fantastic. I said you got, I seen him so impressed you. Yep, yep. Had a lot less hair the last time I saw him, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> and he was a lot meaner with a lot deeper voice. Yeah. Um, although this guy was pretty fucking voice, mean. That voice was killing I know, me. I know, I know, I just wanna, I wanna... But, it's but, like, Michael Jackson, <laughs> is that you? Yeah, it's weird. It's like this big gruff, like, bear of, as they said, a bear in man's clothing. <laughs> and uh, he's just got, like, this really sweet, high voice and just, yeah, just really soft and delicate. <laughs> but uh, I, th I thought that was a really good character choice from him. Um, Ethan Hawke actually stole some of the scenes from Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt, which is fantastic. Any good occasion should really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I just I just really like Ethan Hawke too. He's he's a fun actor. Um, the villain is perfectly hateable. <clears throat> I'm just trying to recap real quick the no spoiler stuff. Uh, action's good. Mm -hmm. um, this is well paced. You know, it, it's not slow. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that pretty much, that mostly covers yeah. our no spoiler discussion. Um, so we can get into some of the more details now. Okay, so where do we want to start at? All right, I'll start. Let's start with horses. Okay, so <laughs> he, he, he after me, he goes like, "You made the face." And I was like, "Which face?" This is like the the, the, the something's highly improbable face. And I was like, the "Was it near the the, the beginning of the, the the siege?" And he's going like, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh no, that was me thinking about how sorry I was for the horses," um, because normally yeah. in a situation like this. You would have a lot of dead and injured horses along with all the dead and injured humans. Yeah. Um, especially when you have explosions and whatnot going on. Well, and the whole thing, um, too, is that they've brought the whole army into the middle of the town and everybody's firing yeah. into the middle of the town. They all rode in on horseback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see all the human bodies, all the human deaths, all the human bodies left over. And not that we necessarily wanted to, but yeah. you don't see any of the horses getting gunned down. You don't see any dead horses lying around. So it's just nope. one of those little odd details. I was just one of those things. It's like, you know perfectly happy with that yeah. you know and I, I know they have stunt horses and all that um and they treat but, them better than they used to but in real life you know you'd be trying to figure out it's like fuck we have a lot of dead bodies yeah so there's, there's a, so so there is a certain level of realism that does not exist in this yeah. film and that's fine it didn't need and it one of the other things you know and, and i just brought it up in, in the no spoilers um your, your lead actor is a black man uh, and I was kind of thinking about Blazing Saddles, you know, with the Black Sheriff and that. Um, and at that time period, um, he they, he would have been called a lot of things that he was not called in this yeah. movie. Yeah, they had just a tiny bit of, you know, racism kind of stuff in the beginning. Very, very subtle. Yeah. But for the most part, they just Well, actually, I think the part where it came most into play is um, when they first get to the town. And he's walking in with the, the Chinese man. Well, there, okay, uh, that that and when he first walks into, into the, the first, first town. Prom. Yeah, yeah, those are the two and, times. And you see between the two of them, you know, everybody gets super tense. And yeah. Now, granted, in the second one, it made a little more sense because yeah. the town was already kind of you know Unlocked imprisoned him, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. But, but I can totally see where you send in those two guys to be the distraction while everybody else moves into play. Mm -hmm, everybody else surrounds them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, their plan seemed to work pretty well until the minigun. Um, so the Gatling gun, you mean? Uh, yeah, sorry, the Gatling gun. Sorry, I, I, I had, there's a reason I was thinking minigun. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. I know it, it's yet. it's a Gatling gun. No, you're absolutely right. But <laughs> it's the precursor to a minigun, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, that that and that didn't really cause nearly as much damage as we would have thought. It did fuck some people up and destroy a lot of stuff, but. That was major firepower for okay, you know, the time. Yeah, well, again, I'm... It's not a bazooka. They didn't have those yet. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking in terms of what the carnage would actually be, and then I have to remind myself this was PG-13, I think. Um, I don't yeah. think this was an R movie, it and if it was, it was not movie. intended to be a hard R, so... Oh, well, it's PG-13. So that, that's where my brain went. That's fine. <laughs> that's true. There was not a lot of blood no. in this movie. For as well, many people getting gunned down and stabbed and slashed, 
really very, very little well, blood. Well, that's, that's, it looked a little more like a traditional Western because, I mean, you yeah. didn't, I mean, you would, somebody got shot, you have, you have red, you got some red on you, that's. Uh, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I should also say that we've not actually seen the original, nor have we seen Seven, Seven Samurai, unfortunately. We're going to correct that. <laughs> um, but uh, so we're basing this purely on what, you know, our, what we've seen. Yeah. And uh, I, I feel like it probably was pretty close to the original, so I don't think they would have changed much. Uh, basic premise is bad guy who takes land, he's mining, he wants to kick everybody out of this town. He's trying to pay them a little bit of money that, you know, but no one wants to leave because they built that town. So basically he comes in and he just burns down their church and a couple of them try to stand up to him so he shoots them and their bad guy Indian, you know, throws the axe and the chick and some ladies back, all that kind of stuff, just carnage ensues. Mm -hmm. So the main guy that got shot, it's his wife that, you know, goes to hire Denzel. And apparently when he mentions, was it Bogue? Bogue? Bogue, B-O-G. -E. Yeah. Um, when he mentions the bad guy, and as we learn later in the film, that uh, apparently that bad guy also really tried to fuck over Denzel Washington's character and his family and tried to ha the people he tried didn't to try. He did try. He did. Well, yeah, yeah, he did. Absolutely. Um, so, so you know, I mean, again, kind of tropes, kind of traditional things, mm -hmm. cliches, but it still all played really well, I thought. Yeah. So. Um, and you know, I said, really, the only suspense to the movie is, you know, are they all going to die? Are some of them going to die? Are they all going to live? Who lives? Who dies? All that. So, so it was kind of surprising that only four, three, four, four, four of the seven. Yeah, four of the seven went down. Yeah, um, my favorites, damn it. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Actually, I mean, not that I dislike the other three, but it's just like. Yeah, it's one of those tight scales where being on the bottom doesn't mean you hate them. It's just, you know, <laughs> you, you know if you're going to rank, there's always going to be someone on the bottom of your rank. And I kind of agree with that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, Pratt. But Pratt had a Pratt went out great, though. Yeah, you I know. kept waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, again, and a lot of stuff you kind of feel it coming, but it's yeah. still executed well. And he always wanted to blow something up. He got to blow shit up twice. So, <laughs> but I love his his card trick stuff. I thought that was pretty fun. He was a bit of a magician. Yeah. Um. I, I knew the Indian was going to end up fighting the Indian. Yeah. You know, when the bad guy Indian chased the lady up the stairs, I'm like, I know who's. I know what's going to happen. And it was still pretty cool, if not a little underwhelming. Maybe it was a lot underwhelming. Yeah, it was pretty over pretty damn quick. Well, the the guy just sucked at hand to hand combat. Yeah, he really did. So uh, so that was a little great with arrows, bad with knives. Yeah, <laughs> and that's one of those things too. Like uh, Vincent D'Onofrio went out from the bad guy, and he got shot many many times, which was pretty cool. I loved D'Onofrio's death actually. Basically, he's just kind of like he gets gets this look of like he hears like a little voice in his head, like, oh, I can stop now. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of a, like a peaceful, because he was like a man of God kind of thing, and it was kind of a peaceful death in a way. It was like him making peace with it and like being called to heaven. You know, you yeah. kind of saw that performance in his, in, just in his emoting, you know, so yeah. I really liked that. But at the same time, I'm like, he had just thrown a guy into cover right behind him with all these rifles. <laughs> I'm like, fucker, pick up the rifle and shoot the goddamn Indian. I think that was not his MO for dealing with Indians. Yeah, but still, still. I mean, I don't know. And maybe it wouldn't have worked, but it's just one of those things. Like, come on, damn it. Um, lots of town folks died. Uh, yeah. Um, who else? Oh, wait, we didn't mention who else died. Oh, oh yeah, Ethan Hawke and Billy. Yeah. They did get it, but, you know, they kind of went out. Gun in a, took them out. Yeah, they went out in a blaze of glory. Uh, not a blaze of gory. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, all right. So I, I'm, I'm punny. You know I'm punny. Uh, but so all that stuff was kind of neat. Uh, the plan worked out pretty well. I kind of feel like maybe it's that comedy works in threes idea, but I feel like only two battles felt a little awkward to me. I would have liked to have seen a little more escalation because really Denzel Washington's crew rides into town, takes out the 22 guys, mm -hmm. and then we go to the big battle. I would have liked to have seen like maybe a battle in between those two like well, so like the main bad guy is actually sort of it just wasn't much of a fight it, when they took out all the guards at the mine yeah it's not really a battle because it, it was like <laughs> all sniping yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know um, that was pretty cool I liked a lot of their plan for boxing the men building the trenches all that stuff that worked out pretty well although I don't know <laughs> they had all the school children they had all the children hiding in a bunk like a bunker and uh, there was a moment in my brain that went through, it's like, uh, you know, just because I have a dark sense of humor sometimes, about, oh, it's convenient this guy who runs the general store has this bunker. It's like, come on, children, into my bunker. Uh, it's just no, a weird... No, dude, it, it's I, a root cellar. 
I know it wasn't that. It's just it's just one of those weird things. My brain went in a weird place. But um, for some reason, somebody decided to leave a lit burning oil lamp hanging in the store. store. So that was convenient when it got yes. knocked over and started trying to burn the thing down. I'm like, why wouldn't you put that out? <laughs> That didn't make sense, but again, just, I'm nitpicking, you know? So also my other question too is in the heat of all that battle, I don't know how anybody recognized who they're supposed to shoot. You know, it's like she had said earlier that the townsfolk probably know each other best theoretically, but in all that dust and chaos, I don't but know. For the most part, I, I get, actually I can see them going like, okay, we're technically supposed to be stationary for the most part, so yeah, if it's okay. moving, it's probably a bad guy. There's some validity to that, yeah. But yeah, there probably would have been some friendly fire. Yeah. Just I because would... most of them are shit shots to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, that was pretty funny too, teaching them how, all of them, teaching them how to shoot. and like them all missing. That's really like, impressive. They all missed twice in a row. <laughs> that's statistically impossible. <laughs> right, yeah. So all that stuff was really, really funny. Um. I do. I like the opening scene too of Denzel's. You know, we don't know he's a, 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 a law, a, a warrant, warrant warrant officer. Um, that initially, and he goes into the bar and shoots this guy. Chris Pratt's trying to like kind of got got his back, but all that stuff was kind of cool. He's like shooting the hats off of people and the chair leg out from the other guy so he doesn't shoot at him. Um, <laughs> that stuff was fun. Of course, I always have wonder what happens afterwards you know the parts that you never see like there's a lot of bodies to get rid of yeah that was a lot of bodies i'm sitting here going like Ooh, maybe we could determine the fertilizer uh, otherwise we're gonna have we to burn become. them all because um <laughs> you're looking at cholera and all that fun disease stuff when you have a bunch of bodies at once mm, yeah fun uh, <laughs> fun 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 yeah um the uh, other thing is they killed a lot of people <laughs> But it's just like, you kind of wonder, it's like, I know it was the, the, the Wild West, but I could totally see some legal ramifications and they still end up getting screwed. Yeah, that's kind of true. I, I was kind of almost hoping like maybe that would be at the end, like the cavalry shows up because someone reported, hey, this shit's going on. Y'all need to get down here or something. They still, well, they still have the bad guy alive. That was one thing. The other thing is when they sent off their Comanche Indian, I kind of thought, well, maybe he was going to end up, have he went to his people and they would show up at the end. No, you know, no. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, it's just in the in the heat of watching the movie. You know, I don't start, sit there and take too long to think about it. <laughs> so, you know, because I like to go on the ride. That's a race relations thing. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. You never know. You know if the Indians ran in, the townsfolk would be, oh, fuck. Yeah. I know. I mean, there's ways they could have done that, but yeah. I was gonna say too to get rid of all the bodies. They could have just thrown them in the mines. But then I thought, well, wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait a hold up. They, um, that town may end up being rich. That's the other thing. <laughs> that just occurred to me, you know? The thing is, that's why I think they're going to end up being screwed. It's oh. Because somebody else who has money and power goes like, oh, there's a gold mine here. Yeah. So, so in Magnificent You killed eight, the owner, you say. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Mag it'll be like the Oceans trilogy. Or it'll be <laughs> Magnificent 8, Magnificent 9. Yeah. <laughs> and then we all get a joke. What about Magnificent 1 through 6? Um, ah, shit. I've already missed the boat on that. I should have been joking about that to begin with. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, <laughs> so I need to get you to watch uh, the anime series. It's, it's it's seven samurai or samurai seven. I think I want to say samurai seven. Okay. I'm um, down. Like I'm it's, it's like twenty six episodes or something okay. like that. But because it's stretched out over that much more time, you actually get to know all the characters pretty well. And yeah. And I would say uh, as condensed. And it's also kind of steampunky. Um. <laughs> well, it's like traditional and tech I'm sorry. at the same time. I know, it's but really you weird. you start saying western and steampunky. It's and not I, western. It's Japanese. I. But we're talking about a Western, and you start. We're talking about a Western, and you start talking. Which steampunk. is based off a Japanese movie. I start thinking Wild Wild West with Will Smith, <laughs> and I start being traumatized. So <laughs> it just turns me I off a little bit. Like that. There are I elements of that. that. Yeah, okay. From memory, there are elements of that movie that are all right, but overall, um, but anyways, um, I did also want to mention I didn't get much out of the music till the end because I didn't know I didn't think I was missing the theme till I heard it in the end credits and. Um, I don't oh, know God. if it's his last work. No, I'm not gonna sing it. Okay. I, I don't know if it's his last work, but he got an in mem in, more, more, in memoriam, in memorandum, in, in memory memoriam. of um, James Horner. So uh, sadly missed, but um, yeah. So that was kind of nice of him. So he, he, I can't name too many off the top of my head. Like he did like Aliens and just. I mean, he's one of those guys. He's like a John Williams. He has been around that long, okay. or had been around that long, and did a lot of these scores. You know, from movies. I know Williams you don't really, and Elfman. That's about it. Yeah, well, he, he's definitely closer to a Williams in terms of okay. legendary. 
Um, and I understand. Not everybody's, you know, a score junkie like me. So I'm not, I'm not like, not like trying to be like, you know, <laughs> not geek shaming you or anything. It's totally understandable. Um, but uh, yeah, so. But overall, we really enjoyed the movie. We're glad we saw it. So, you know, I don't know how well it'll stick with us. It is just kind of, it's a little late for the summer, but it is kind of just a summer popcorn movie. Yeah. So, you know, just go with that in mind. Don't expect anything too earth, earth shattering, earth breaking. Just, you know, an enjoyable little action western. It's going to be one of those movies, actually, when it gets to cable, that if you're channel hopping, you'll probably kind of just stop on it because yeah. it, it's not, again, because it's so well paced and it, it's actually just really funny. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of good humor in it, too. Because just watching these guys just constantly, like, snark at each other and try in to the one up each other, it's, yeah. it's, it's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we enjoyed it quite a bit. All right, well, what did you guys think? Let us know. This is the spoiler video, so feel free to talk spoilers. Geek out with me down in the comments. Oh, my God. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie. Um, other than that, click that thumbs up button. Give me the thumbs up of encouragement. Check out Patreon if you want to. And we'll get out of here. We'll see you guys later. Later.